G'day everybody, Sean from Bourbon Brothers here. Welcome to our February tasting notes. Today, we're gonna to be looking at Bearded Lady Bourbon. Bearded Lady Bourbon, produced at Five Square Mile Distillery. Now, if you go and try and Google that, you're not gonna find a whole lot because where the bourbon is actually sourced from is the NGP Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Indiana for Voc Beverages portfolio here in Australia, based out of South Australia. They import the bourbon, they bottle it, and they produce this Bearded Lady range for Australia's bottled under the American Bourbon uh, label, which is an accurate label for it. They're not trying to pretend that it's a Kentucky straight bourbon or anything like that. So this bourbon, when it was introduced, actually won quite a few awards. It, it won gold medals at the San Francisco Wine and Spirit Competition. It won at a Melbourne International Spirit Competition in 2015. Those ones won at 40%. What we're looking at today actually comes to us at 37% is what's on the shelf at the moment in the stores. Probably a mistake in my estimation. I think the, the lower proof does it a bit of a disservice. However, it's still a quality bourbon, an introductory bourbon. Maybe for some of your friends that are just starting their journey in, in exploring the bourbon world, this is actually quite a good one for them to get them to try because it's not going to scare them with that higher proof. So let's talk about NGP Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. So don't confuse that with Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. They are in Indiana. So what they are is a very large distillery that provides bourbon and other spirits to a myriad of other brands that are out there. These are sold under about 50 different brand names by various bottling companies. Um, and they even have some of their own products that come out of there, but mostly they supply to other people to, to bottle. The facility's largest customer is actually the multinational beverage giant, Diageo. So MGP is home to a massive brick complex that cranks out mega industrial quantities of beverage grade alcohol. The factory, once a Seagram distillery, has changed hands over the decades and was most recently acquired by Food Ingredients Corporation's MGP. It is now a one-stop shop for marketers, who want to bottle their own brands of spirits without having to distill the product themselves. MGP sells some bulk vodka, bulk gin, as well as a large selection of whiskies, including bourbons of various recipes, including wheat whiskey, corn whiskey, and rye. They also make food grade industrial alcohol using everything from solvents and antiseptics to fungicides, but hopefully that doesn't end up in our whiskies. One primary product of MGP in Indiana is their straight rye whiskey. It has a 95% rye mash bill, and it's bottled under various brand names, which you'll know, like Angel's Envy and Bullet Rye and George Dickel Rye and High West and James E. Pepper. So these bourbons all use this MGP straight rye as the basis for their product, and then they'll finish it off in their own unique ways, either blending it with other bourbons or finish it in different casks. MGP also sells a straight bourbon whiskey, uh, which is sold under various brand names. One you'll recognize, Cougar Bourbon. That comes out of MGP as well. So back to Bearded Lady Bourbon. Bearded Lady comes in with a high rye mash bill of 75% corn, 21% rye, and 4% malted barley. And it comes in with that pretty mild 37% ABV. So why don't we give it a shot? The first thing you'll notice about Bearded Lady is the color. So if you open your box, you'll notice a distinct color difference between the three bourbons in there. The Bearded Lady, for me, it's almost an apple juice look. Um, so it is a little bit off-putting to start off with, but again, we'll let the flavor do the talking. So you see that quite light bourbon. You compare that to the double oak, which is also in your box, which is one of the darkest bourbons on, on, uh, on earth. And it really will show the differences between the two. Fairly light on the legs, but th there is some there. So the nose, it's quite mild with the lower ABV, but you do pick up those classic bourbon tones, that they're creamy bourbon vanilla, marshmallows, and, and the oak uh, all within there in the nose.
All right. So I get a bit of chocolate and sort of buttery fudge kind of initial hit on the palate. Um, and then you get a little bit of the spice and the toasted oak and that, that vanilla that persists through. Um, it's, it's actually quite nice on the palate. Again, very mild with that low ABV. So again, it's probably right for that person that we're just introducing into um, neat bourbons in there without scaring them like, you know, a Booker's ABV. On the finish, it's actually quite long, um, which was surprised me when I was, uh, you know, when I was sampling and trying these. So it does have a reasonably long finish of it and, and it fades away, it holds the palate um, that, that you get there with that sort of chocolate and then coming through with the toasted oak and vanilla. So look, overall, value wise, it's, it's on the lower end of the scale. You'll find it for around that $45, $48 mark around. It's a good entry bourbon to share with somebody sort of starting their bourbon journey. Probably great to throw into your mixes as well in there. So that's our bearded lady, our February pick. Enjoy it your way and enjoy your journey. At a fairly mild 37% alcohol by volume. I don't know why I'm talking.